So recently I posted a video to the team teaching you guys how to make a secret launch attack inside an armor engine for a hack and slash game. Today in this video, I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to set up multiple different launch attacks inside an armor engine. Now I'm not going to be going through in depth of the code because I already explained that in the tutorial where I taught you guys how to make the singular launch attack. So if you guys want to learn more about the code, definitely go check out the tutorial. The link's going to be on the screen right here. And then the next thing we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be taking a look at the code and setting this up inside an armor engine. So let's get right to it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be going over to our input Input action mapping settings we're going to be going down to input what you guys are going to be doing are going to be creating a brand new input action mapping for me i have two brand new input action mappings i have one sword attack two which is set to game face button left this means it's set to the square button on the playstation controller or whatever the left button on the xbox controller and then the next thing i have is two i have the setup to thumb button, mouse button and then for my launch sword attack three i have it set up to Game pad, face button, right, thumb, mouse button, two. And then for our original launch attack, I have it set up to game, face button, top, right, mouse button. And you have it set up to whatever you want. All right, so once we do that, the next one we're actually going to be doing, we're going to be going over to your event graph. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be getting a reference to those brand new launch attacks that I created. I'm going to right click and then to type in launch attack two, sword attack two. Gets this little note right here, and I'm going to do the same thing for launch attack, sword attack three. Get this note right here. So now when I go ahead and open up that node, you guys are going to see that I have the launch attack code inside of the engine. Like I said, I'm not actually going to be explaining this code in the video because I explained it earlier and how to create a single launch attack. What I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to just go ahead and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy all this code. And then when I go ahead and copy this, I'm going to go back over here and then I'm going to go down to my launch sword attack too. I'm going to go ahead and click up this node. I already have the code already set up in here. But what I'm doing, I'm simply just pasting the code, right? And then once I paste this code for the launch attack system on the input action mapping for the launch attack too, the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be going over to my play high priority montage for you this would be a montage i just have it set to a high priority montage i'll make a whole another video explaining what high priority montages are but all the thing you're going to be doing in order to set up your launch attack to have it something different for a different input action mapping which we're going to be setting for our launch attack too which is going to be set to our square button or our thumb mouse button i'm just going over here right here and just clicking on a little montage right here and i'm going to be going into the montage i'm actually going to be setting the montage whatever attack that i have i am going to be making a tutorial telling a little bit more about montages so be on the lookout for that and make sure to like the video and subscribe and i hope i explain everything Thing 30, but once you go ahead and do that for your input launch and mapping sword 3 as well, you go back to the game and you go into there and you just do the same thing where you sit there and press down on the triangle button and launch the character with that attack, and then I launch the character with that attack, and I launch the character with that attack. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Also, comment down below if you guys are running into any trouble or issue. I'll be sure to help you out. And subscribe if you're going to entertainment while your notifications are turned on so you don't miss the upload. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one.